Знакомьтесь, боец в синем углу, fighting out of the blue corner. Бойцу 30 лет, рост 185 сантиметров, вес 93 и 4 десятых килограмма. Ladies and gentlemen, he is 30 years old. He stands 185 сантиметров tall, weigh in at 93.4 kilos. Его профессиональный рекорд 7 побед при двух поражениях. Professional record 7 victories and 2 losses. И его стиль бразильское джиу-джитсу. Дамы и господа, из Баксана, Россия, Мурат Куков. Его соперник в красном углу, fighting out of the red corner. Ему 25 лет, рост 182 сантиметра, вес 93 и 3 десятых килограмма. He's 25 years old, standing 182 сантиметров tall, weighing at 93.3 kilos. Его профессиональный рекорд – семь побед, ни одного поражения. Professional record – seven victories and no losses. И его стиль борьба – he's a wrestling specialist. Дамы и господа, из Махачкалы, Россия, Муслим Макамфедов. Рефери поединка – Цезарь Войцаховский. So we look at the tail of the tape, the opening bout here at, at the main card of ACA 115. These two middleweights height, it's reach exactly the same height Ready? advantage, Fight. slightly, for Murat Gugov. Nice show of respect at the start. And once again, off we go. Gugov in the blue corner. Muslim Magomed of the number one ranked light heavyweight on the ACA roster in the red. The right hand connects and a smile on the face of Muslim Magomedov. Also, Muslim is one, one of those guys that he doesn't, you can tell here, he, he's not thick set at this weight class. He, he's just like, he's comfortable, uh, you know, just being a little bit, you know, let's say, like, say, when you have someone across you, it looks like he's been chiseled out of, out <laughs> like of uh, the Hulk's thing. big brother. But don't, <laughs> don't let that deceive you with strength. Strength's not always about muscle mass, it's about technique and how you apply it. Without a doubt, and technically, I remember when Muslim Magomedov made his debut, the matchmaker and his manager said, watch this guy, watch that. And I believe he was 4-0 uh, when he made his debut. And since then, he has taken on all comers and beaten them all as well. So that's the thing with, with, with people like what you, you call the inside information. Because you look at someone who's 4-0. Uh, and five and out of time, he, you're not going to put him up against Chris Camosi. He, he's been, been around for a long time fighting high level competition. But you know that when you see someone like this in the gym around other good guys and you see how they perform against other top level athletes within that gym, which other people don't get to see. So that's when you have that inside information that, hey, by the way, this kid is the real deal. Just moves out of the way of that left hook again, Gugov. He's thrown that a couple of times. To, sorry, the right hook of Gugov. It's a very li like looping sort of right hook. Muslim Magomedov doing a good job to evade it. You see, you see, you see that Muslim is very aware of, of the power that uh, Gugov possesses. Taking the center of the cage, constant lateral movement coming from Magomedov. Size wise, though, Gugov looks absolutely huge compared to Magomedov. One thing I saw as well with the fight against uh, Magomedov, Ilya Shulagov, the dentist. Magomedov was very, very patient, just waited for openings, and that again for a young man shows a lot of high fight IQ. And he's got a perfect professional record, his amateur record as well it was 9 0. He does a really good job, as I say, he just gets himself just out of range with that big, powerful looping right, uh, left hand. But the thing is, though, at the moment, he's not really done much himself. Uh, he hasn't been hit with anything significant, but he hasn't landed anything himself. He's not even throwing much. Oh, good little counter right hand there. He tried to get back with. Oh. Google gets the takedown, that's big. 
very big in a very close round of like not a lot of action. A takedown like this is, is going to be massive. And now uh, we saw a, a, in Google's ACA debut, he's an absolute beast on the floor as well. Yeah. Very good ground game. Very strong, very devastating. But Muslim Magomedov. Oof. Finding a way back to his feet. Urgency, explosion. Very impressive. Turns it around. Some high level grappling. Yeah, he needed to get around, but, you know, he needs to do something that, that, that gets a little statement for this round, because at the moment, this round for me is going to Google. But just with that little bit of takedown, a bit of top control and side, uh, a bit of pressure on side control. Second, nice right hand drops the level changes, looks to try and get it to the mat. Oh, he, he wants to try and get one back. Oh, just misses with the high kick on the break as well. Now there's some more venom in the punches. I think exactly what you said there. He feels like that take that may have won Goog off the round and he needed to make a mark. I don't believe I've seen Magomed, Magomedov lose a round in ACA. That might be the first round he's potentially lost should the judges have seen it that way. Yeah, he definitely is going to Now you, you, see, uh, you have to see adjustments by him to try and change things up. Because yeah, he might actually yeah, get now that was a round down with Goog you know. He's doing well, he's finally find his range with that round. He threw a lot of big shots like this. That's the one left hook that he managed to land, but a lot of his shots were missing. Uh, Muslim Magomedov did a good job of selling the outside, but then he timed a good takedown. Got a good bit of top pressure. In my eyes, stole that round. So we move to round number two of this light heavyweight contest. Kicking off the main card here at ACA 115. Dar Seyrald. Gugov in the blue corner, Magomedov in the red. And for me, it's Magomedov who's got to start with some more urgency. He's got to impose himself a little bit more if this... Oh, take down attempt again from Gugov. And he gets it to the mat. This is great from the underdog. He is a massive underdog in this fight if you were to look at the betting lines. And so far, he's doing extremely well against the number one man light heavyweight. Yeah, he's, he's done a good job getting that fight to grab a... Who's the back of that? <laughs> well, he did when he was down. He had, he had the Kamorga, but he's still trying to keep now. But he used it very well to reverse and get himself back to back upright. And now you, you've got to know that you've got to feel that he's going to want to try and get one back himself. Oh, short elbows coming in. Rocking now from Krugov. And Magomedov. Get one himself, he's driving to the fence, but he's almost kicked off there. Very, very like stylish walk off. You know, like, you ain't getting me down, you can't take me down. Just walked off very casually. Shucked him off with a flip of the leg and then just strutted to the other side of the cage. Wow. But again, as the mega head of engages. As well to control him up against this cage. It also is like very like composed performance here by Gugov. And he feel a bit more urgency in the approach by Muslim Magomedov. Yeah. Now he's got the tap in, big knee in the middle. Oof. Good head position once again from Muslim Magomedov. Seems to be like a cut on the shoulder there of Grugov, probably from the mat or the... Uh... Yeah, it looks like a graze. It could be like an old graze that just took the scab off. 
Could be a Matt Burns. It looks like, yeah, nothing, nothing too much. For this single leg switch in the game. Good balance show. Oh, oh, that's yes. high. Up on the shoulder. Can he get it? Reaps the leg away. Look at the technique there to work to that position. Hold it. Wait for your opportunity and then pull it away. Yeah, he done really, really good. He done all the right things. Where uh, it was good defense by Google, but he, he won the single, run it up high, put it up high, couldn't get the take down with that, then swept, uh, swept the standing leg. And he almost waited for the referee as well just to check the hand of uh, Google in case he, that he grabbing the cage could have stopped that takedown. Good patience from uh, Magomedov, but Google building back up, trying to get back to his feet. This is what you need to see by Magomedov. This is, as far as records go, the closest to Magomedov that he has faced. All of his other opponents have had far more experience. We've already alluded to Chris Camozzi. He's a 38-fight veteran when they faced each other, and I believe that was on his fifth fight. Oh, looking to try and work that hand underneath. Gugov aware of it. Yes. This is a much better round from uh, Magomedov. He had to. He kind of, like, if anything, it's kind of like the first round's kind of woke him up, and also the start of this round as well. Oh, that goes slides it under the chin. More of a neck crank now. Gugov, not too troubled by it, but this is such a, a quality position of control from Magomedov. Yeah, he's just threatening with that and then punching as well. Gugov defending well, but he had them, like I said before. Oh, again, a power move to get him off. But eats some uppercuts for his trouble. Now Gugov pressuring Magomedov with his back against the cage. Oh, just misses with that hook. <laughs> swing for the yeah. fence there. A big swing and a miss. That, that's the thing with the southpaw versus the orthodox. The, the overhands are, are so far away. It's, it's really hard to land them. You're better off on a straight shot. Ten seconds of round two. And we had a response from Muslim Magomedov. Rugov had done so well. His first round particularly. Second round was looking good, stuffing the takedowns. But then the technical takedown, that single leg, raising it up, reaping the leg, getting that back control, that position. Yeah, bit, so a bit, bit of a good, good control time and also doing a bit of damage as well. Makes it extremely interesting as we move into the third and final round. And this man, many a shot him out as far as chances against the undefeated Magomedov. Murat Gugov was, yeah. uh, is a massive underdog, but he is really rising to the occasion. He, he's very much in this fight. I mean, like, it's arguably he could, could be winning. You, you never know how the judges scored that, that uh, second round, but he definitely, in my eyes, won Ooh. the first round. So if he, if he wins this round, for me, he wins. So, like, yeah, he's definitely all, he everything, everything to fight for here. And still, a lot of things for Muslim, Muslim Magomedov to do. So, third and final round. The fighters are off the stools. The seconds are leaving the cage. And we are set and ready. Murat Gugov in the blue corner. Muslim Magomedov in the red. Five minutes one for one of these athletes to claim a victory. Gugov moving forward. Powerfully set by Sangor fighter and look at him charging for this takedown early on. That could be the important position. Who can get the takedown? Who can put the others back on the mat? Yeah, both both are very aware of how important takedowns are in with MMA to score points. So both really fighting for them and fighting to defend them as well. Muslim has exit so well. The level of grappling, and also you got to look at our main event because I believe he's one of the training partners from Muslim Magomed. Um, Magomed is my love. Oh. 
he still cannot get into the mat, Dukov. Very good balance shown, good defense. There's the exit, finds the door. Probably could have seen Buzdin now trying to push Gugov against the cage and try and get one of his own takedowns. Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, they both know what's at stake here within this, this third and final round. Very important not to make a silly mistake, point in a bad position. And also, both of them have got to try and create something as well. Oh, that's a good one. And there's a knee up the middle there, Gugov eats it well. And for me, there's just more variation. Mixing it up more is Muslim Magomedov. He's not just looking for a takedown. If he sees an opportunity or he can read a, a level change, he's looking to make Gugov pay for it. Yeah, Gugov only look up at the screen to see how long is left. His, ra his round still at the grabs, but you've got to say at the moment, the momentum is switching into Muslim Magomedov's favour. Yeah, the answer to the question is 2 minutes 40 seconds now. Again, he looks at the clock. Double underhooks for Magomedov. Yeah, he's trying to get a body lock to try and see if he can get a takedown, but... Now he'll look for the single, let's see if he works the same. Offense again. Rolling into his knees now for trying to get a double leg. Trying to get, maybe get his hands locked. Gugov did a good job of switching his stance, separating the, that grip. Two minutes. Muslim still pressuring, now switches. Let's see. Two hands locked, maybe not again. Oh, there you go. The angle change on the pressure. Rugov now trying to get back to his feet. He knows he can't be stuck in this position, but he's giving up his back. That's just a good control and position. You see, the Magomed is just probably going to hang on him here. Just knee, 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 score points. Good little oh, trick. Oh, and there you go. And this is where he absolutely flourishes. Now he's moved him away from the cage. And you just kind of saw as well, well, Google had hit the mat, the, the frustration, and in, 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 in sort of way of like, yeah. you kind of like, oh no, kind of thing. There wasn't any urgency to get back to feet straight away. You saw the, 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 as if the wind just left him, you know, like he knows where, 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 how this fight's panning out now. And he sees that. Muslim Magomedov Mag Mag is starting to take control of this yeah, fight. Well, look, he's, he's got through the guard, he worked the side control, and now he's taken the back, and now he's piling on the pressure. This is a huge third round from Muslim Magomedov. He, this has not been all one-way traffic, this fight by no means. Gugov has been a worthy adversary, but right now the cream is rising to the top. <laughs> I don't know if they're talking to Jebel, someone's just breathing really heavily. <laughs> I think it may be a mixture of both, but can he flatten him out now? Got the both hooks in there. Gonna work under for the uh, the rear naked choke. And he fires the other hand round. Now he might have it. Yeah, he's just making that uncomfortable there. Oh, and Google powering up, powering. Try and stand. Yeah, he's doing, he's doing right. He's making him go high, but it's a little too little too late. Oh. And what a tough, tough contest for both of these athletes. Gugov caused so many issues in round number one. I, as I said, I believe that may be the first round I have seen Muslim Magomedov make inside the ACA cage. If they had given it to uh, to Gugov, if not, it was still as close to losing one as I've ever seen him go. And then his response was fantastic, and it was technical. That's the main thing. The way he worked for his takedowns, there was no desperation in there. It was all good, high-level technical stuff. No, he is very, very clinical. I say, like, good fighting IQ from both fighters, knowing that these rounds were close. And he was like, for me, it was just like a battle to see who could get that takedown, who could get some top time. And tonight, the middleweight title should have been contested. That's why we will have a three-round main event with Magomed Ismailov versus Ivan Shturkov. But Abu Bakr Vagayev was supposed to um, 
Sorry, uh, Abdul Rahmanov was supposed to defend his middleweight title. Unfortunately, got injured, so that fight never made it to this card. And this man, there is no doubt, there is no doubt with the light heavyweight title as well on the line, as in vacant because of Dovlet Chan leaving it. This man surely has to be the one to, to, to contest for it. Finally, the results are in. Let's hand it to our MC to make it official. Дамы и господа, по завершении боя раздельным решением судей одержал победу и остается нестающим поражением Мусли Маканфета. Your winner by split decision and still undefeated. So a split decision there. You can see how. Unhappy Muslim Magomedov was with that, but the victory is his. And again, credit to Gugov. What an opponent, but that man keeps his number one spot. Muslim, приветствую. Поздравляю тебя с очень тяжелой победой, вязкий бой. Скажи, показалось после объявления результата ты был чем-то недоволен? Просто дали победу разделенным решением судей. Я не ожидал этого. Тому иди на глаз. Вы сидели просто на трибунах с твоими земляками. Им показалось, что первый раунд забрал твой соперник. Не сказать, что он забрал. Просто чуть-чуть центр клетки поймал, он еще на больше половины раунда и все. Не было никакого попадания. А, на первых секундах он попал один раз и все. Так, не знаю. Мне кажется, был Ванича. Равный бой был. А... Казалось, что очень физически мощный, такой огромный, кажется, твой соперник. Я сказать честно, не, не, не просто кажется. Это как, я не знаю, отец сыном, что ли. Такое можно сравнить. Вот. Что-то хочу делать, он. Что-то хочу делать, он срывает все. Вот. Ну, вы видели эту раму. Вот. То есть это рабочие мышцы, это точно нам не показалось. Да, это рабочие мышцы. Как сказать, рабочие, они когда они в борьбе какие-то вязки. А у него просто дури дофига. Он не дает бороться. А, скажешь, на сегодняшний день это самый тяжелый твой бой, самый тяжелый оппонент? А, сказать, когда я готовился на бой, я всегда думал, что это самый легкий мой соперник. И я легко его пройду. Думал, первым, максимум во втором раунде это срочно закончу. А, так думал. А после боя я скажу, это был самый тяжелый мой бой. Не ожидал. Не, не ожидал такой, если честно. И на такое я не настраивался. Я всегда настраивался на жесткие поединки. Сегодня тоже был настроен. Ну, от соперника такого не ожидал. А, у тебя уже серия по ветву Исея достигла четырех. Ты первый... Пяти. В Исея уже пять. А, ты... ACB один и ACB, да. да. А, ты первый номер рейтинга, безоговорочно. А, следующий бой будешь просить у Лиги только за пояс? А, ну, мне кажется, других вариантов нет, а с кем мне драться. За пояс они мне должны были уже года полтора назад дать. Кого здесь пять побед подряд? Мне кажется, фактически ни у кого нет, может здесь только единицы. И то чемпионы, они уже защищают свой пояс, и за счет этого уже у них а, такая серия. А сейчас более вероятные претенденты это Алексей Буторин, и сегодня очень ярко выиграл нокаутом Евгений Гембердиев. Что скажешь, с кем бы хотел больше увидеться? У меня нет такого определенного, с кем бы хотел. Всегда кого лига дает, я тех и беру, и выхожу на бой. Не бывает такое, что я с этим хочу, что не хочу. Пока такого не было. Ты закрываешь год хорошей победой продлеваешь свою победную серию. Вообще, какие ощущения и какой план на 21 год? У меня был на 20 год забрать пояс. Ну, сейчас я этот план перекидываю на 21 год. Хотя в этом году пояс забрать, был уверен в этом. 
Видите, как пандемия, суета, и очень долго не дрался, я уже 10 месяцев как не дрался. И как-то тяжело бывает, когда ты долго не дерешься. А когда у тебя стабильно бои, ты клетку чувствуешь и легко как. Мне кажется, это тоже что-то влияет по-любому. Я понял, спасибо большое, успехов.